Hi folks, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Nisi and welcome back everyone else. This Femme Friday vid is gonna be all about my girl, IU. And I got this recommendation pretty early on and definitely wanna check it out. So I wanna get into this vid from IU's palette. That is the YouTube channel's name, just for reference, not the IU Palette show, but IU's Palette is this YouTube channel's name. And they have posted a vid called the IU's Best Vocal Moments. I feel like I've already heard some of IU's Best Vocal Moments, but there's got to be some out there that I don't yet know. And I want to know. I want to hear them. <laughs> so let us jump straight in. One of my new faves, IU. Oh, I'm probably just gonna want all the song now. In my mind, I just realized, yeah, it's, it's not gonna be like three best songs, it's gonna be just clips. Ooh. I don't know this song. Yes, I love the style on her. I just feel like this type of style is just great with her breathy quality. It's like the something about that jazzy sexiness that like it wants to hear a little bit of that breath push through. Yeah. Oh, dude, I've never seen her with blonde hair. Or at least not like a long time, not like in passing. Only in passing, I feel like. I was gonna say, interesting that this is... I was gonna say that was is a best vocal moment, because in the beginning she sounded kind of shaky, but I, it's it stabilized pretty quickly. Yeah, like that part just sounded just not as stable as I'm used to hearing her. Yeah, that's just like completely stable now. Got <laughs> the high heart, high hard high notes. I mean, it's live. It's never gonna be perfect, perfect live. She sounds so good though. <laughs> There's something special about it. Even when it's not like perfect, when it's like even a little flat. There's something special about hearing someone that good live. Also not always be perfect, they're humans. Oh gosh, guys, Jebel. Oh gosh. <laughs> Like here, like it's not always about hitting the exact right note, but the emotion feels so right. Right, like right there, it's just like a little flat, but it just sounds so right for the emotion. Oh. Yeah, there is something very special about hearing IU live. Her voice has a lot of character. And then you can attach to it when you're listening to it. Could that be any more perfect? Oh. Then you get like gems like this. 
just, it doesn't sound like the studio version, it sounds even better just because it's live. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Like we're not playing um you know what I mean we're not playing the actual video in the back but um the screen still has that element of like this old film reel like this, we actually don't have a picture in the back but like you could still see the like film reel effect oh it's so pretty I'm gonna cry mm. This is when it's better than the studio because you feel the emotion so raw. No. Who's this guy? He's so in awe. I would be too. She looks young here. Ooh. Like this. Very Spanish infused style. Wow. Oh. I wonder if this um, kind of genre was uh, popular in, in uh, not in K-pop. I don't know if she's covering someone's song, but if it was popular in um, Korea, not necessarily K-pop, but in popular Korean music. It sounds very pretty. He loves it. Is it his song? Oh, you guys. My dear name that I just watched. I just watched it if you want to see my reaction. Blubbering and snotting all the way. Oh, so beautiful. This one I really, I did feel like every part of her emotion when she was singing. I didn't know what was happening, <laughs> but I felt it. I feel like I want to see this cover just because I've seen so many clips from it, not this cover. This concert. She sounds exactly like the, the track. Oh. Her, like, literally maybe one, two times in the 50 million times I've listened to her that I've been like, oh, she sounds just a little shaky. The reason it jumps out to me is because she never sounds like that, which is 100% unfair. Let us not hold artists that we love to like unattainable live standards. So to be very clear, live should not be perfect that's not what our expectation should be and i feel like k-pop gets it the hardest because they perform so hard and yet sometimes i feel like the criticism i see of live performances is they're singing and i'm sitting here thinking like what can you expect them <laughs> to be doing with the type of performance they're giving it's one or the other you know it's why singers 
often stand at a mic when they have to give a focus commanding vocal because it is difficult to do that while you run around jumping up and down do jumping jacks and then try and sing and then you tell me why we think that it's so it should be so easy for artists even the best artists make mistakes or they channel their passion not always towards the the perfect note in that moment but with all of that being said, so I do want to preface that we should appreciate and expect that live performances are not going to be perfect and that vocals are never going to be this, the level of an album version and should not be. She sounds so often when she's live, so, so close to her, how she sounds when she records, meaning she's that good. <laughs> she's just that good. Oh. It's, she's so good. These types of jumps she makes too, they're not easy and she sounds so much like she sounds on the produced technically version. She deserves all the props for that. Oh. I kind of love that she gives so many concerts too where she doesn't look like she's frilling herself up. She's just trying to feel comfortable. Others, obviously, she looks beautiful, beautiful, dressed up, glam as she wants to be. But I do love that some of her concerts, she's just wearing like t-shirts and jeans and sweat. Mm. So I wonder if this is the same song or is it just another Korean song in that vein? Rich, clear, perfectly pitched. Mm. She does a lot of slides too. I feel like slides with her breath is hard and she does it so well. Oh, she looks so young here. You had me in a dream, I lived in every word you said. The stars had a line that I fled upon you. I have actually not listened to her sing a lot of English songs. It's, it's um interesting because I can hear a different I can hear English songs. I mean it could be it, any song that's not in her native tongue to be fair, but obviously the language that I'm most accustomed to is English. And I feel like you can when people change, when people have to change their pronunciation due to the language they're speaking, you can kind of hear like more of like what the core of their voice is because it's not just in that um tone and shape that they're used to when they also have to speak it's harder in my opinion Hard, harder to be singing in a language that you're not used to you have to put a lot more thought into how you are pronouncing and saying things while still trying to convey the, like the meaning of the song as it means to you whether or not you speak english or not right i don't know i use english proficiency personally but whether she's really good at english or she's not, I feel like you could kind of, it highlights an area of their voice that you would not normally be able to point out. So it's interesting to me, like I like it because um, I'm actually hearing her voice in a different way because I'm not used to hearing her say these types of words or at least so many of them in English. So I get to hear the tone of her voice differently. She sounds different. It's the language. 
she could have also, I thought she was younger there too. Like even here, it's like, yeah, she gets a cute little skirt on, but she just got like a nice, nice comfy sweater. I just love her mood. I love that sweater, that open back sweater. Well, overlap wrap. Joy, these dancers. I feel you guys. I feel you. Yes. Especially this chick here and this dude here are giving me face. Giving me joy of the face. And this one here too. Yeah, a girl can hit the notes. She looks like she's just like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh. Yes. Rapper! Mm. This palette days. Her short hair. She likes short hair, so who knows? Mm. Yes. Oh, she's so good. Okay. I love Ayo. I love her so much. I know there's a ton of folks who found my channel because of my newfound love for Ayu who want for me to have more Ayu content. I wish I could give you more. At this point, I'm just trying to do the best that I can in still wanting to check out some new stuff, but also wanting to like share all of the loves that I have as much as I can, which is becoming harder the more groups and people that I get interest in. It is what it is. Um, so I hear you guys and I 100% understand and know because the love for IU is strong and it's real. But I do want to say moving forward for the foreseeable future, it shouldn't be a surprise. It's been like this for a while, but I will just be focusing on Mama Move, Red Velvet, and IU on Fem Fridays for the next foreseeable future. It has been this way for over the last couple of weeks uh, just because that's what I'm interested in. And there's so much stuff because all of those gals have been in the business for a while that there's just a lot of content. So I do want to share, but it still has to be at a pace that works for my real life. Um, so I appreciate you guys understanding that, but just know that you can expect IU content for sure on Fridays. She pops up other, other, other places too. She is a idol's idol. So that allows me to kind of throw her in when I might be focusing on another group as well. I like doing that too. So earlier this week, I dropped the IU's palette episode with me. So if you want to check that out as an IU fan, please do. Otherwise, I do appreciate your time checking out this stuff with me. I enjoy it. It's more fun not doing it alone. I like reading your sort of uh, insider um, facts and thoughts and opinions and recommendations. So thank you. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bye.